Mamma Mia, have you seen Mario? I've been looking for him. So let's talk about it. Mario the Origami King is an extraordinary fun-loving video game, and I say that in a good way. Tons of fun-loving nostalgia, homage, and even mini-games await you in this epic paper-folding adventure. Featuring a vibrant cast of, of evil office supplies and fun-loving risk-it-all characters like Bobby, Luigi always coming in clutch to save the day with his crazy antics make this game one hell of an epic journey. I honestly don't understand the flack that this game is receiving. It's literally by people that either started the game, opted out of it because too much hand-holding, or just a sheeple hive mind of players that never even actually played the game in the first place and just went with the sheep hive mind of hate. It's also some due to the fact of how they changed the way the game is played in this series. While it is true that it loses some features from the Paper Mario aesthetics, but in the RPG combat system and the ever so slightly annoying gimmicky boss fights through the twisty turns of the new general combat style of fighting. The game does offer tons of appeal to new and old fans alike. Sure I even got turned off by how much the game tries to handhold you in the beginning, but once you finish the first world and halfway through the second, the hand holding is off and then there becomes some puzzles that I literally got stumped on a few times and had to actually use my brain and head to figure them out. Paper Mario Origami King tells the tale of an evil villain named Ollie who is folded into life and now he seeks to fold the paper world into his own kingdom of origami. Meanwhile his sister Olivia who he himself has folded into the life has seen the good in paper and has a vision for the world where origami and paper can live together in harmony. Obviously both of those ideas clash and he forsakens his sister to go off and do his own thing. His sister Olivia teams up with Mario and the gang to stop their brother at all costs because he's turning toads, goombas, and the world into origami shambles. That is pretty much the synopsis. There are catchy songs, tons of collectibles, a music him to view all the concept art and the overall aesthetics of the game. Ship riding, bright colors, vibrant worlds, insane amount of mini games, Easter eggs, fishing. The game has game shows, vehicles, items, weapons, and there's an insanely amount of deep sea diving and many other creative moments of charm being shown in this Mario fans, being shown in this Mario game with the best Mario fan service today. Some of my favorite worlds and moments was ninja finding, being in the game show, shredding the sea, looking for treasures, deep sea diving, and everything of the the like the value that this game has in roots lore combat even though the combat is confusing story humor it seems to get it all right once you actually get the logic behind it aside from me trying to figure out a certain couple of boss fights and getting flustered and frustrated throughout the game i did have a smile mostly playing and had endless fun i never had a performance issue as it ran pretty smoothly and i didn't have any crashes i didn't really encounter any glitches and never felt anything out of the ordinary when it came to playing deep down paper mario Origami King is an excellent RPG. It's the one of the best RPG adventure games, and I also recommend it to everyone. We uh, we here at NGI give Paper Mario: The Origami King a 10 out of 10. Whopping Luigi finding Goombas. Want to know what our scores mean? Make sure you check out our ranking system over on our channel. Stay tuned here at NGI for all the latest in gaming tech news and reviews. Smash that like, and as always, subscribe. God bless and peace. We're